Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, assign a PDF file to your students and how students access that file on their Chromebooks, um, edit it, annotate it, and then uh, return that file to you uh, via Google Classroom. So let's get started. So here I am in my uh, teacher account in my test class. I'm going to create a new assignment, and I'm just going to call it annotating a PDF on Chromebooks. And for the time being, I'm just going to grab a file from my Google Drive. And I'm just going to go with Unit 1 Classwork for today. So I attach this PDF. And uh, the way that I want it to work is I want Google Classroom to do all the work for me. It's going to make a copy for the students, give them their own copy so they can edit it, and then the, they can turn in that copy to me without um, getting confused. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Make a Copy for Each Student. I'm going to click Assign. OK, so that's my teacher. Teacher has assigned this file. Pretty awesome. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to my student. So I'm going to refresh my stream. And now I'm in here as my test student. So I'll see that uh, Jackie just posted an annotating a PDF on Chromebooks uh, assignment for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And now I am ready to rock and roll for this. So it made a copy of this assignment for me uh, with my name on it. And um, this is actually more streamlined than when you used to have to send physical copies out of Google Classroom to different apps on the iPad. This will kind of bring the same file. It wraps the whole file back and forth between um, stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the PDF. And it's going to open in this preview window. I've actually seen a few kids come to me today, too. Like, sometimes it says can't, whatever. It's just a preview window, so just don't worry about the preview window. Click on the three dots in the upper right-hand corner, more actions, and open it in this new window. So you're actually going to physically open up the PDF file through your Google Drive is really what it's doing. When you do that, now you get options. So at the top, I have the option to open this with DocHub. Um, because I've been using DocHub. If you don't see that, you just see Open With, click on the drop down and connect DocHub. If it's not listed as a connected app, go ahead and say connect more apps. And I'm recommending that you use DocHub, even though I, I do like Kami as well. Um, and uh, Folio works, but it's it, there's a difference between the app and so forth. So I really recommend going DocHub or Kami. And I'm going to say DocHub right now. I'm showing you DocHub because it has a few more options that I think will be beneficial for students. But there's nothing wrong with Kami. I personally also like in Kami that it syncs live back to your Google Drive. Like there's no button that you need to press to send it back to Google Drive. Whereas in DocHub, you have to. So each one has kind of like their own features. They both work really well. Um, and they both do the same thing. So I'm going to say DocHub. And DocHub is kind of like its own standalone library of documents. So um, it's going to live save all of my changes in DocHub, but then when I'm done, I need to send that back to my drive so I can turn it in in Classroom. Um, so when you're done making changes, you want to make sure that you're like, OK, I'm done, and you send it back. Um, if you forget to do that, DocHub has a copy of it. It's been saving in seconds, so it'll be in real time, which is great. Um, but you will have to, you know, send it, save as, or send save to Google Drive, and I'll show you that. So, um, and this is the DocHub library here on the left. So with DocHub, you get a few nice tools like a page control tab, which will allow you to see the pages of a PDF, jump between those pages. If you right click or at the bottom, you have options, you can insert a blank page, which is a super awesome tool that you can't do with Kami. Um, you can also rotate pages. So if your pages are, um, it was a scanned in book or something like that, and they're sideways, you can rotate your pages with a right click. If you click down here with the rotate, you can do rotate all pages. So if the whole thing is crooked, 
you can do that. You can also insert a blank page from down here. You can download individual pages um, and you can also trash individual pages, which is nice. So it's almost kind of like a, a hopped up Adobe where you have options to be able to edit your PDF, which is pretty great. And you'll see this at the top. You see this saved? It's automatically saving everything back to my doc hub. I'm gonna just click on it my doc hub documents library. So it's, it's keeping all of these things in here. I have documents and you'll see, I have this documents three pages and it's saved in real time. So you're not gonna lose it. It's just there. You just gotta send it back to your Google Drive when you're done. So um, opening this back up. So here's what I have for tools. So I'm gonna keep that page. I like the little page viewer, it keeps me. I can pinch with two fingers on my screen and zoom in and out. I can scroll with one finger up and down. I can also use my trackpad for scrolling or uh, my scroll bar if you want. So I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit. I have some tools. I, I'm on the pointer tool right now. I can add text by just clicking in the document. You can click and drag out, make a big text box and um, Okay, and I have very limited formatting, but I have some formatting up here. Um, when you're done, if you just click off, you can move these things around by selecting and moving them wherever you wanna go. Um, I have a draw tool, which is pretty nice. So if I click on the pen, I have colors I can select. Maybe I wanna do, let's go with blue. Blue's a good color. And then I can change the size of my pen tool and I can uh, just click on the screen with my finger and I'm drawing with my finger on my screen. Okay, I can write on here. So you get the idea. Um, I have a highlight tool, I get two tools. The first one is a highlight text tool, but it highlights all of the text if you select it. So if you start to like select in here, it'll start highlighting like all of the text. Um, the other one is the highlight box tool. And um, the highlight box tool works really well for when you have a scanned in document like this. You see how I have a scanned in document. I can just select like click and drag over bits and pieces that I want to um, highlight in the document, um, which is nice. Okay, so I have those options, but I can also use my pen tool like a highlighter if I wanted to. You saw me kind of underlining before. The only thing I don't get, which is a nice tool, would be to be able to change the transparency of, of the um, pen tool a little bit, because then it would act more like a highlighter. Um, and you'll see, do you see how it has like just a little bit of a lag in terms of highlighting it started blue because I changed it from blue to um, yellow, but you get the idea. Uh, the comment tool is also nice because it kind of puts like a little flag. And um, so if you wanted students to like analyze a certain piece of this and be like, I, you know, I found and then they can explain what they learned there or something. So you get the idea, the whiteout tool will actually white out whole chunks of the page. So it's not like an eraser tool. If you're looking to erase stuff that you've put in, if you actually just hover over it, you get an X and you can just bam, like bam, you're done. Bam, you're done. See ya. You get the idea. Um, so, and then do you see this when I um, closed off of that? You see how it kind of pops out there? Ooh, fun. Isn't that exciting? It's very exciting. So uh, you can insert an image in here too. So I want to annotate on an image. I can drop in an image, draw on it, you know, map it out. You get the idea. So um, that's Doc Hub. And so everything I'm doing right now is saved in my Doc Hub, but I need to make sure that I send my changes that I've made back to my Google Drive. So if I click on the three lines in the upper right hand corner and I go to download and I say, save to G Drive. It's gonna save it to my Google Drive. It's saved in my Google Drive and I just hit okay. And now if I come back to classroom, I'm actually gonna X this one out. But if I come back to my classroom, 
and I refresh, my file is in there. That's it. I'm ready to turn it in. It's all good to go. So back in classroom, I went, I jumped back to classroom and if I actually click and open up this file, it's going to load all of my annotations because that's what I did. I opened that file right from Google Classroom. I opened it in Doc Hub and I saved it right back to my Google Drive. And so with one, one button, everything is there. I didn't reattach anything. I'm ready to turn this in and you can see everything I've done here on my file. And um, it didn't load the rest of the pages in the preview mode, but I'm good for this and I can turn it in. And my teacher now is going to have my students work and I'm going to be able to see it there. Uh, like a two, like a few weeks ago, um, Doc Hub didn't work the same way. It actually, um, you'd have to load up a PDF inside of a uh, Doc Hub in order to see all the annotations. Now you can see them right in your Google Drive. So I'm back in my teacher view now. And if I see my annotating assignment, my test students turn it in. If I click on the assignment, sorry, I clicked on my PDF. If I click on the assignment, I can see all my students who have turned in their work and I can see my Jay Gilmore test student. Um, and if I click on it, I can see all of her work and I can see the new pages and everything. And now I can assess this work and I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to click add an attachment. It didn't have to do anything like that. All I had to do was send it into Doc Hub, do what I needed to do and make sure I saved it back to my Google Drive. So I'm excited for you. Enjoy this awesome Chrome tool.